The breaking news comes out of Montreal, where McGill University says it will change the name of its varsity teams, which were called the Red Men. The change comes after a lot of pushback from groups that say the name is racist and insulting. So for now, athletes will play simply as the McGill team. A committee will decide on a new name for the start of the 2020 athletic year. This isn't the first time a sports team has changed its name. We've got Megan Roberts pulling some history. What did you find? Well, just last month, actually, there was a Manitoba minor hockey team that changed their name. They were formerly called the Mitchell Mohawks, and they changed their name to the Mustangs. That's the old logo for the team. And with the team, there was also a change in logo. Now, the team's president said they didn't actually get any complaints about their team name. They simply believed it was the right thing to do. So they made the change. There have been plenty of complaints about team names, though, specifically one we can look at, the Cleveland Indians. That was a name and logo that people were protesting. That logo, Chief Wahoo, that first appeared in 1948. And this year, 2019, is the first year that they have not used that logo on the field. There was pressure for years from groups saying that the logo was inappropriate, the name inappropriate, too. And it was actually the commissioner of baseball that stepped in and put some pressure on on the team saying that that logo was no longer appropriate for on-field use and it was decided that this year starting 2019 they would no longer use that logo so they ditched it the name though still stands and some people still unhappy about that now a canadian team made a bit of a different decision went a different direction the edmonton eskimos they are a cfl team and they had faced criticism for their name including from inuit Tapiri kanatami representing 60,000 inuit they call the name racist yellowknife inuit association also criticizing the use of that term Eskimo. So the team decided to host some consultations with Inuit starting in the Northwest Territories. The president and CEO of the Eskimos saying that the people that they talked to in the NWT were split, that there wasn't a firm consensus on either side of this issue. So ultimately they decided to keep the name for now, but they did say they would host more consultations with people, including in Nunavut, in Edmonton, and in Ottawa. So you can see how different teams take different actions, mm -hmm. getting pressure from different places, some having conversations, some not listening to the groups for quite some time. It's really a, a contentious issue that a lot of people have been talking about, and we've been seeing that pressure grow over the years, Suhanna. So it's interesting to see Miguel now taking this action. And I'm sure it's not the last of it that we'll see. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome.